on 2K Sports. Today's coverage of the Royal Championship is about to begin. Hello everyone, Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam and Rich, this FedEx Cup season has been a beauty for this player. Handling it nicely, don't seem to be under any real pressure. No, they've been going along quite smoothly this season. I have to say I'm very impressed. I'm looking forward to seeing them compete in the FedEx Cup playoffs. Well, it's all promising to be a good day. Can't wait to see what happens. That should find the cut stuff. Luke, unfortunately, that got a horrible kick. Ended up in the rough. Mm, that's right out of the copybooks. Exquisite. Almost a gimme birdie there, Luke. Fantastic. This one's looking good. That's pretty fancy. Nice start. And always a good feeling to have early in the round. Currently one under for the event. I can't ever recall him making a birdie and feeling bad about it. So yes, birdie on the first, great job. Now oh, this one looks to be heading down the runway. <laughs> Playing this shot from 120 yards. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. That's a pretty handy shot. Oh, that's a great shot. It sets up a wonderful birdie look here at the second. Get excited. This could go in. Well, nicely done. Holds the putt for back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies move in the right direction there, Luke. At minus two, going along nicely today. We have a par four on this one. <laughs> nicely done. Let's recap Ian Poulter's effort from just a short time ago. I got to say, this is a 10 on the scale. Let's get back to it, shall we? This shot is about 140 yards out. Choosing the 9-iron nine here. Great looking shot, this. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Well, that's beautifully judged. Already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. A seven-footer right here. Yeah. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. Got to say... Putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. He's currently sitting in fifth place. Par threes always offer up that hope of a hole in one. Looks to be going with the five iron. Oh, that one just missed the hole. A sensational shot and a chance for a birdie here on the fourth. This one's online. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. And with that, he'll move to four under par. And that makes him tied for first. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a long par four. 
Well, there's no doubt they'd have some positive vibes coming off that birdie. Let's see if they can keep it rolling. Wow, that was just striped. There's been some great action out on the course. Let's take a look at this highlight from another person's play. Bryson DeChambeau now with one of the great highlights of the day. He's a sharp shooter from short range, isn't he? Pretty straightforward shot, about what you'd expect to see from this player. Standing up over this one after a bunch of birdies. Always a good way to start. Let's see where they go from here. Opting for the 9-iron. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. This putt just five feet away from the hole. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. And with that, he'll move to five under par. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. The play so far has been stellar, increasing the lead, Luke. But can they maintain it? Let's find out. Wow, what a shot. This would be a great up and down. Well, that was the number, no doubt about that. Well, I hope he makes this one. It's for par. Well done. John, do you have any info down there? Well, guys, I'm down here on the seventh hole. This is Ian Poulter's next one. Time now for the fourth shot. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. We have a par five on this one. Second shot here on the seventh. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Yeah, well played. Now, a long range putt coming up here. It'd be good to make a bomb, wouldn't it? That have been if it had dropped. That was a well played hole. Take the birdie. And that will take him to six under. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. Uh, 
That's heading for the fairway. Time for the second shot at the eighth. Oh, look at this, right down the throat. Not a bad approach, that one up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. Birdie at the last. This for another. It's tracking. Oh. And that should secure the par. Well done. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. Johnny Mack. What's the news? Down here on the ninth, this is Bryson and DeChambeau's next shot. And here we are with the third shot. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Teeing off here at the ninth hole. Going with the hybrid. Anywhere up on that dance floor would be nice. Now that looked pretty good the whole way. Well, this would be a big putt to make. A birdie always nice, but particularly when it's a two. This one looking really good. And he holds it. What a putt. And that will take him to seven under. And this effort by Justin Thomas. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. Well, this is when the knees start to knock. The sweat starts to appear on the palms of your hands, Rich. Just a slender lead with nine to play. Yeah, but I, I like the position. I like being out in front. That forces the other players to come catch you. I like their position. Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. Second shot here at the 10th. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. Well, that's well played and sets up a good birdie look here at the 10th. Oh, nice looking putt. And that's eight birdies today. And with that, he'll move to eight under par. Awesome play. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. Let's see what happens here at the 11th hole. Let's take a look at Justin Thomas from earlier. This is how you do it seven days a week. Okay, let's get back to the action. Second shot here on the 11th. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Getting ready to play their third.
Five feet coming up to the cup. Their short game has been very impressive. They've kept this player inside the top 10 all day long because of it. Ooh, nice line. And he just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to hold. Leading by six strokes after that one. This hole here is a par four. That was wonderfully done. Coming off a string of three birdies. Nicely done. What an opportunity to make a birdie. That was a gallant attempt. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the 13th. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. Well, this should be unpredictable. Sitting at minus nine for the day. Currently leading. Opting for the five iron. It's fair to say that wasn't their best shot. Can't fault him there. This rough is nasty. No fault in missing the green. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. There's 17 feet remaining to the hole. Ah, bugger, a bogey. And that's all she wrote. John, give us an update. What's shaking? Hey, guys, I'm over here on the 14th hole. This is Bryson DeChambeau. Sitting at one under. Trying to crack into the top ten. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our leader is out in front by a whopping five strokes. This hole's a tough two-shotter. A long par four. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. Well, Luke, you're right. He did find grass, but it's not the closely mown grass. Looks to be going with the six iron. This one looks just a fraction too long to me. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Needed to take a little less club on that approach. Four feet to the cup. Yeah, you'll take that. John, what's going on out there? Well, I'm over on the 15th right now. This is Ian Poulter lining up his next shot. 
And this putt's for birdie. And after this hole, that's how it looks. Our current leader enjoys a five-shot advantage. The honour is yours. Time to hit a good one here at the 15th. Not a bad line, this one. Luke, that did not end up where you said it was going to. It's in the rough. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. That's a smart option. Back into the fairway. And here we are with the third shot. That's a good looking shot there. Butting for birdie. A well hold. Now an impressive nine under par with just a few holes remaining. Yeah, nice to have that cushion heading down the last few holes. Ooh, we're at the par three here. I love these holes. Looks like they've got the five wood. Yep, that one's on the dance floor. You can two-putt that for sure. Outside chance of the birdie, but a two-putt here is still good. There's been action all day on this golf course, but what about this shot at the 17th? The scientist, Bryson DeChambeau, with a fantastic shot. Well, this is one of those lengthy putts. John, how do you see it? Well, this one's looking around 30 feet, I'd say. Looking really good, this one. Ooh, right by the hole. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Currently nine under for the event. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Let's find out. Teeing off here on the 17th hole. That one's heading down Broadway. From around 140 yards here. Going with the 9-iron, I think. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. Nine feet to the cup. This one's tracking. And that's for birdie. Well hold. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Well, what a lovely position to be in, holding the lead. Playing the last. Good luck. Well, that's right out of the top drawer. A great shot from our leader. That was a thing of beauty. He got all of that one. It might be an ambitious play, but I like it. Looks like they're going for the green here. <laughs> oh, 
Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. And this putt for the tournament. Ooh. So you're not afraid to take it deep, are you? Hold this, and it's a 61. And that'll do it. Holds it for the win. Backing up the Brinks truck once again this week. Filling it up. That shot's so good, we need to have another look. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Helvey. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow.